Hi, and welcome to 5 Minute Friday. Today I'm going to be focusing on my workflow through Lightroom. I'm going to be working on a shoot that I did last week with a model. And roll intro! Okay, just before the intro, I said I'm going to be showing you my workflow that I do through Lightroom. I'm also going to show you some of the other software that I, that I use that is interweaved with Lightroom. They're fantastic programs. Um, I use a couple of the presets from them, and I think they really help me improve and speed up my workflow. So let's get into it, and you'll see on the screen in just a second the first set of images that we're going to work on. Just going to open up Lightroom. As you can see, I've got it preloaded with the images from the shoot that I did with Amber. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up all the ones that I've rated so far. I've already been through the shoot and edited them just because it's just this is just a quick video as it says five minute Friday. And let's have a quick look at the first shot. So I'm going to just pull this into develop. If it all speed up and get to that point. Right, now as you can see it's a black and white image, obviously you took it in colour. This is the original image, I've cropped it down slightly in Lightroom. Then what I did was I edit in Exposure X3. The reason why I picked that program is because I think it's got some of the, the greatest textures for adding a film look to your image. I'm just going to show you that just now. I'm just going to open it up. It just takes a second to open up because my computer's running slow for some reason. And it's opened up on a different monitor, so I'm going to bring that in here. As you can see here, I've got the color image. But over here, I've got all the presets that I like, all the different types of film presets that I've picked. Now, as you know, with the project that I've been doing on the Selkies, everything's in black and white and the one that I mainly go with is the low, low contrast version of Kodak Technical Pan. I used to use Technical Pan when I shot film, it's, it was a fantastic film, gelatin like and had a very fine grain. Uh, when I click on that and I just take the grain strength down because I don't think it needs anything added to it, it just it really makes a difference I think in the tonal ranges that you see in the black and white you can bring back the clouds and, and stuff like that so I've I've already done the shot so I'm not going to not going to save it or anything like that just going to discard the changes that I did there and show you in here as you can see the shot that I've already done we'll click through them now, it was quite a bright day so on a lot of these shots I've brought down the highlights right right down as you can see down to like minus 100% the reason why I've done that is because I'm going back into edit it to black and white. If it was a colour shot I wouldn't go overly dramatic with that because it affects so much. So I'm just going to go through a few more shots and let's let's see what you think. This one I just desaturated the contrast in it. I quite like it. I'm not 100% sure on it. I did that for a bit of diversity for the model. They also always get a group load of the shots as well um, for obviously being part of the project. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly put up a range of shots on the screen. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Okay, so I've showed you that I've, I'll, I use Alien Skin X3. I also use another program which I think you can still get. Um, it was originally Google's photo editing platform. I'm just going to open it up just now. Um, edit in Analog FX Pro 2. What they've done, I think, is they've sold this to another company now and they've brought out a new version, but I still use the older version. 
because it was it was given away free pretty much and it has some great effects on it what I'll do is I'll usually maybe use a preset from this and then I will then go into and go into alien skin and add another preset so it's layer upon layer upon layer and like I say I do use presets up and then I then I just slightly tweak them where I want to go with them it just makes my workflow a lot faster rather than have to sit and remaster the image every single time if I have presets later and I know which ones can do what like it just it just makes everything easier that's that's why people sell them and um, they've spent hours creating them fortunately um, I've started working on a preset pack which will be for sale soon hopefully people will buy it if not then I haven't wasted my time because I still have a load of presets that I've made that I enjoy using as you can see I'm not an expert in Lightroom I could go into more detail and bits and bobs, but there's loads of videos out there I just kind of wanted to show you the programs that I use and my workflow really um, I use like the rating system you can basically just as you're going through your images just on the keypad hit a 5 or a 4 or a 3 there's no point going down to a 2 or a 1 because you're never going to use those type of images but it's just it's just really quick way of rating your images going through a, a, a large shoot and then once you've done that then you can go to rate and start editing it's just a faster way of doing things I actually bought Lightroom 1.0 years ago and I never really liked it and it's only recently I've started using it so I'm kind of getting into it now and I can see its benefits I still prefer Photoshop for going into much finer detail if I'm editing skin tones or anything like that or, or airbrushing anything out it's, Photoshop's never going to get beaten for that but Lightroom is a fantastic editor for doing batch processing and um, bits and bobs like that so yeah and that's pretty much it for today um, as I say it's just a little five minute video hopefully every Friday just to talk about photography hopefully we can get in more in depth once more people join the channel and start watching please leave some comments below and let's get discussion going on the workflow that I've showed you today or if you have any questions about any of the additional software that I use with Lightroom please just ask a question and I'll get back to you as soon as I can Thanks again for watching and we'll see you soon.